Speak on it. Rep it KC till I die. We been to town. You know what's for to 18 and fine. It's going down. We support the town. We don't hate. That's not allowed. We just on the come up like the next man on the come up. Two hoes. Mr. Fisher kicking back with Fetty Reggie. Whenever they show up on the scene, you know they ready. Ed in the background. You don't really see his face. He the man with the plan on the move every day. If you got something to say, come speak on it. Come speak on it. Happy little thing. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Speak On It. I'm your host, Steve. And I'm your boy, Fetty Reggie. And today, we sitting here with a man that really don't need no introduction, but y'all know who he is anyway. I call him Mr. Dog. Yeah, y'all call him what y'all want. We got Mr. Court Dog in the house. What's going on? What's going on? He giving them that up due respect. I call oh, yeah. him. <laughs> I call him Mr. Dog. Mama might call him Court, but I call him Mr. Dog. I call him Mr. Dog. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, like the first, actually, you know, kind of celebrity I ain't met. You know what I'm saying? 2019, I'm Big Court. 2019 is the introduction of Big Court. But that's good. I'm going to call you Mr. Dog. That's all good. You know what I'm saying? That's all good. That's all Just in case y'all don't know, go ahead and tell the people a little bit about yourself. Um, see where y'all want me to start. Wherever you want to start. Um, let's see, how far, how much time we got? We got all the time you got, bro. All right, so I'm going to always assume that people don't know who I am. So I'm from Kansas City, from the Four Block. Um, I got my start uh, with No Limit Records in 1995. Okay. Um, got my first gold record with Down South Hustlers, you know what I'm talking about, um, on the song R.I.P. Uh, after that, I put out several independent um, albums, the Kansas City Chief, Pulling Rank, CCG. Um, all the classic 90s, early 2000s uh, uh, albums. I did a movie with me and Cat Williams called Still Here in like 06, 07. Um, done several other movies, and I'm currently in I Got the Hook Up 2, um, <laughs> which will be in theaters July 12th. I don't know when y'all see this, and it'll be on VOD. And we're currently filming the No Limit series, which we'll get into, you know what I'm saying, uh, mm -hmm. right here in the city. So that's pretty much my resume in short. I guess my first question is, what is VOD? Because I've seen you post it like that. What is VOD? So Video on know. demand. Video on demand. Yeah, yeah. So, as smart as I am, I didn't know what the fuck <laughs> VOD was, y'all. So, uh, wrong. Yeah, because see, what the <laughs> Video issue... Video on demand. The issue with that is, you know, that's the thing. Like, we own... Um, uh, I got the hook up too. You know and what I'm saying? All, yeah. So yeah. what happens is, you know, like Black Panther, that was a great movie, but we don't own that. You feel me? So mm -hmm. um, uh, they kind of hate on us in terms of how many theaters we can get in. So, you know, Black Panther was in every theater available. Right. So now that because the, the machine doesn't have a stake in this movie, mm -hmm. so they kind of limited, limited the space. So you see what I'm saying? So what we did, because we own it, we just circumvented it. We just said, fuck it. We going, you know what I'm saying? Go to theaters and where it's available people mm -hmm. can see it but mm -hmm. if you can't get to it in your city you can video on demand it so it's still available you know what i'm saying july 12th and y'all still gonna make the guinness so still, book uh, oh absolutely world records yeah simply off of what what the vision was the vision i guess you all had was to put how many characters well that wasn't necessarily the goal but what we did to circumvent how traditional movies are made see that's the thing i mean and this is really is a testament to p's genius you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying so what he did, he took, you know, uh, social media stars and said, okay, you know, let me take them and let them do them. Because see, Hollywood, we, I live in Hollywood, so mm -hmm. they're not going to allow, you know, people like DC Young Fly and Fat Boy, they're not going to allow them to just be them. Right. You know what I'm saying? They're going to have them stick to the script, make mm -hmm. them be who they want them to be, and you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, and he understands what mm -hmm. our our culture is you know what i'm saying mm. and so he yeah, gave right. a lot of underdogs chances i mean it's like 147 speaking roles uh in the movie you know what i mean and then with with all these social media stars he circumvented the traditional way of having to spend a big budget on promotion because we got over 200 million followers you know what i'm saying with mm. everybody collective mm. so everybody mm. just promotes to they you know what i'm saying to their people yeah so you know that's, that's the how it go that. yeah Ooh, yes. wait. yeah that's yeah. how it go yeah that's mm -hmm. dope um 
So what made you want to jump in the industry? Uh, when you talk about back in the day? Yeah. Um, you know what, man? I was always just a dreamer, dog. Like, I think because I was an artist, I could draw really well. And I used to write my mother poems and shit. So I think naturally, when you're some type of artist and then writing poetry, you're naturally going to transition to some type of written form of expression. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I think, you know, I grew up on Ice-T and N.W.A. and Eazy-E. So I think with me already having that artistic, you know, predisposition, you know what I'm saying? It just started start getting into rhyming and shit like that, like in the late 80s, early 90s, you know what I mean? So then that's when I hooked up with my partner Cisco and we formed a group, uh, CCG, you know. And CCG was actually like the Wu-Tang when we first started. It was like 30 <laughs> of know. us, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it whittled down to just me and him who really wanted and we had Dank Nitty too. Shout out to my homeboy Dank Nitty. He was a part of the group uh, for a spell as well. Um, and you know, that's how it started, really, man. Just you know, already being artistic. You know what I'm saying? So. Okay. Um, let's talk about the uh, No Limit series. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you're shooting it here in Kansas City, right? <clears throat> well, what is your goal to make your show different from others? Um, because it's shot in Kansas City. You know what I'm saying? I mean. If you look at, this is the thing about Kansas City, you know, our city isn't really, let's just keep it 100. Nobody gives a fuck about Kansas City except people from Kansas, Kansas City, City, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. For whatever reason, our city is just not recognized as a sexy city. You know, we not like New Orleans where our culture is celebrated or L.A. and New York, you know what I'm saying? Even St. Louis get more, when people say Missouri, <laughs> they think of St. Louis, which pisses me off because we're a bigger city, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. But at the end of the day... I never heard that one because when people usually say Missouri, they think Kansas, Kansas for some reason. Well, you, when, when you say you from Kansas City, they say Kansas. They associate it with Kansas. With Kansas. Right. But I'm saying when people think of Missouri, if I say, like, I've been they in L.A., always they always associate with St. Louis. Louis. That's the first city okay. that comes up. Period. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Period. Yeah. No right. matter where you go. But but not just because of Nelly. I'm saying just St. Louis is always just for whatever reason had that popularity. You know, Kansas City, we get slept on. Except for before we was born. Like, before we was born, like, this was really one of them spots that motherfuckers No, absolutely. No, absolutely. It's a, it has a rich heritage. It but, does. But, but it's got to be rejuvenated. Right, sure. right, right. Sure so what I'm saying is, like, say, for instance, when you look at and this goes back to your question. When you look at the movement that Atlanta has, the movement that Miami has, what it is is the, the public fall in love with their culture. You know, they fall in love with the slang, the fashion, the sound. You see what I'm saying? That's why I be preaching we have to get our own identity and our own sound. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We got to make what we do cool, how we dress, how we talk. You know what I'm saying? So, like The Wire, when The Wire came out, I didn't give a fuck about Baltimore. I didn't even pay no attention <laughs> about Baltimore. Yeah. But when I started watching The Wire, it made me say, damn. I wonder what Baltimore like. You right. know what I'm saying? Uh, mm -hmm. So that's the same thing I wanted to do for Kansas City with doing a low no limit series. So always, that's the vision behind it? That yes, yeah, one of them. So do so like, okay, I love and I'm from Chicago, but right. I'm so deeply rooted in Kansas City, sure. man. Like sure. like my Chicago family associated me with Kansas City. Yeah. And I've yeah. given them the game on what Kansas City is, the right. difference, right. The the you know, the separation, sure. but the united uh, aspects of it and everything. So I see when you tell me what you're trying to do with the No Limit series, I think of uh, uh, the wire. Yeah. But I also think of the shot. I'm really impressed. Absolutely. I just see the shot just ended. Uh, Y'all yeah. didn't speak on the, I like shot, the shot, but I yeah. love the shot. Yeah, I like it too. And I didn't know. I'm like, I mean, because it's not a full representation of, of us in of that course. culture. Of course. But it's a good eye opener. Yeah. And it's a good storyline. I think the it wire is. was dope. But the wire was super dope. Was so that's what I wanted to do to with No Limit with the yeah. series. Like, I, cause I think big, and then also because I know that I have inroads to distribution uh, through the UMC company that we did with. Uh, uh, I got the hookup too, which for is sure. Bob Johnson's uh, company. Word. The dude that owned BT. Yeah, for sure. So, so I was like, okay, let me shine a light on Kansas City. Let me make it. Let me introduce the world to how we get down and our culture and different things like that. So that I could have shot it in LA. You could have shot it anywhere. Yeah, you could have went to Atlanta. Atlanta yeah. giving out. Don't Atlanta right. give out money? Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. yeah. yeah I'm, hip. I'm, I'm hip. So, yeah. so <laughs> I'm hip. So Atlanta gives out money for what? LA gives out. I mean, for certain production. cities give out uh, they, money. Cities. Yeah, they give yeah. out. Yeah, they give for, out. For shooting your movies in their cities, they man. They do. 
Yeah. So I shot it here. It's it actually a privilege. It actually <laughs> doubled the uh it actually doubled the budget. You know what I'm saying? Man. But that's that's what I'm saying. Like people don't be understanding the sacrifices and the things Man. that I do to try to do my part to help the city. You know mm. what I'm saying? Mm. Mm. You know, so that's that's why I wanted to shoot it here because you gotta think about it. If it becomes a hit show, mm -hmm. you know, you never know what could happen. You yeah, know, right. I could I, like I'm financing it now, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm financing the first uh, uh the first season. Mm -hmm. All right, say it blows up. Mm -hmm. Say stars or anybody wants mm -hmm. to say, damn, we HBO, love this shit. So Hulu, now, Hulu. so now my budget, <laughs> Hulu, now my yeah. budget goes to, oh shit, we give you four hundred thousand an episode. So now I'm able to pay everybody. I'm able to bring commerce to the city and give people jobs and opportunities. You know what I'm saying? What I'm and yeah. then yeah. Yeah. hopefully it makes people want to come here. Like we get an all star game here, some mm -hmm. shit like that. It make it yeah. cool. You know yeah. what I mean? So that's that's my whole point of doing that. Yeah, that will be nice because you know we got the. Uh, Draft here in about two years. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We're trying to. I mean, I see, to, I see. I see Kansas, Kansas City something. trying to do something. Right. Um. I guess my question to you, because I know you was back in Joy, mm -hmm. Joy Cuts, uh, for yep. uh, yep. City Council. Right. Right. Shout out. He to didn't Joy. get it. Right. I heard. I'm disappointed personally. Yeah. Yeah. But what do you think? I mean, it happens. You know what I'm saying? You just dust yourself off and keep going. For sure. Push. I'm um, for sure. But I just like. I feel like. And I ain't going to get too deep into it because mm -hmm. I really can't wait. I hope we can get Brother Joy up here. But um, okay. um, that man has done so much. And he I, can't believe, I mean, I looked at the numbers. I'm looking at the numbers, and I tried to vote, and I got educated. I tried yeah. to vote for Joy, but I don't live in his district. Right. So I can vote for the 3rd District at large, but mm -hmm. I can't vote for the 3rd District Councilman because I don't live in that mm -hmm. district. Education mm -hmm. people. But... Um, I couldn't vote for him. I tried to vote for him, but I looked at the numbers and I'm like, damn, that man gave out more turkeys, more fucking free haircuts. Right. Right. In, the, in one year, then he got a vote. Right. So that was a disappointing. That was that was just my thing. And I seen you was back in Joy, so it just kind of affected me. That's the thing about it with Joey, though. I mean, he will continue to do those damn things. Damn, you know, because see, yeah. that's the thing. I mean, the title, the title of councilman, you know, that's a that's a rented title, but he owns mm -hmm. his character. Yeah. So it's just in his character to do those things that he's Damn, doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he gonna keep doing great things in the in the community. You yeah. know. So yeah. he just don't have the title temporarily, but he'll get it though. Damn, you know what I'm saying? Man. Yeah, yeah. I was out there helping yeah. him get votes. I was in front of all these. Yeah, man. Great, you know, all low, so he might be prospect. Yeah. I'm, I'm just saying, saying, man. You go get your damn. Don't speak on it, don't speak on it, happy little